One of our other very ambitious projects that we are currently, uh, if you open the newspapers in Kenya, currently, uh, you'll find uh, the discussion around our modernizing our healthcare system, where for the first time, and I think unique in the whole world, we are putting all 54 million Kenyans on one digital health platform. If we are going to achieve that, and we will because you know we, we are embarking on it from a very accelerated pace, the next task of now ensuring that all these 54 million Kenyans are also visible for purposes of, of, of tax is not something we are hiding from. It's a reality. I know there is pushback on health. I know there's going to be pushback on revenue. But the best thing is that the government is determined and we are going to see modernization of our health system, modernization of our tax system, because for us it is the issue of revenue where we are is an existential threat for the country of Kenya as we know it. And finally, even if we are able to modernize and to automate everything within our borders, we cannot uh, be fully successful unless we go the extra mile and go cross-border. So I, 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 this morning uh, we were, I was delighted to hear that in the UK they don't just uh, you know, look at uh, uh, compliance from within the borders. We have to go cross-border, integrate with customs uh, authorities in other countries, uh, you know, uh, trade facilitation systems, port community systems, any other source of information that can be able to ensure that we are as accurate and we are on point as much as possible because for us, it is not a nice to have, it's a must have. Thank you very much.